welcome to the EcoHat Workshop. In this episode, we're going to make a type of bat box, known as a Kent bat box. Bats are extremely important in ecosystems around the world, and providing our small mammalian friends with somewhere to live can make a big difference. This design is one of the easier bat boxes to make. So let's get started. The most important thing to remember is the opening needs to be around about 15 to 25 millimeters. That's the right size for bats in the British Isles and Northern Europe. It can be bigger or smaller to accommodate bats in your part of the world. We're picking timber around about 20 mil thick. The best material to use is untreated rough sawn wood like this. This is so the bats can grip. I only had this planed wood from an old piece of furniture. To add grip, I made indentations with a saw around about two centimeters apart, as you can see here. So you want to start with your biggest piece of timber and take your two center rails, lining them up with these corners. You're going to pre-drill four holes, as you can see here, two in each rail. Use an electric drill to pre-drill. We've chosen this appropriate drill bit. We're using 30 mil countersunk screws. These are also galvanized to stop them rusting. And these will do nicely to go into our 20 mil wood. I've also countersunk the holes to make it neater. Okay, get the screws in and pop the next piece on top. The trick here is to drill away from the screws you've put in below. Pre-drill another four holes through the center piece. Screw this piece into the center rails below and repeat the process with the front rails and the front piece. We don't want to get the bats wet, so the final piece is the roof. Just make sure that you line the screw holes up with the main box. Making this mark with a pencil can really help. Now, it might be useful to know that you can use a hammer and nails, but be aware that the box won't last nearly as long. The finishing touch are these two screws in the back of the panel. You can wrap wire around these to hang up the box. There you go, you've built a bat home. The main thing to remember is a good box should be draft proof. Bats, like your elderly relatives, don't like a draft making them cold. So a stable temperature is what you're aiming for. You could put your shiny new box up on a tree or a building. Just make sure that you have permission. Four meters or higher is best. We'll be talking more about how to place a bat box in a future episode. And just one last thing, once you've put up the box and you know bats are in there, don't move it or interfere. Not only will you disrupt their home, but in the UK, for example, it's illegal to do so. And there are similar laws all over the world. Now, just wait and hopefully soon your box will be home to lots of little flying mammals. Let us know how you're getting on and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.